Hello, Scoreholio organizers and players. This is Ben with Scoreholio. I got a long one for you today. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and seed brackets via your Scoreholio Seasons rankings. Um, Scoreholio Seasons, just so you guys know, is a way that you can rank uh, players throughout uh, a given season and submit uh, various tournaments to a season so players can score points. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how uh, to seed a tournament uh, first. And I already have a season built where uh, players do have points for this tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to run the tournament as well. On the left, I have my uh, computer. On the right, I have my phone. I actually personally don't even use my laptop when I go to tournaments. I run everything on the phone. But whatever you're more comfortable with, I'm going to try to show you both at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and go into run a tournament at the top here and go ahead and sign in. Um, right here so that way I can uh, show you how to do everything so I'm gonna go to the sport of cornhole and I'm gonna log in and put my uh, log in here and log in as well as on my phone I'm gonna do the same exact thing so if I go ahead and here so now you can see on the computer and on the uh, phone it looks virtually the exactly the same um, you know at the top I have a couple of cool things I can see every player that's ever played in my uh, tournaments as well as players that were in my that are in my club I can see my stats on how many uh, tournaments I've ran and players and what kind of tournaments they were so you got that same thing over here on the phone um, just to let you guys know real quick um, if you guys do have uh, players show up to your tournament you always can have them go to the player profile and they're going to go ahead and create their account here I'm going to go ahead and put in my information. Now, remember that you can, um, oh, Ben, at, uh, you can have a different player e email than your, um, uh, your, your organizer account. And that is because you might, you know, share your email and password with somebody else to help you run a tournament. Uh, but then you guys both play under your own, um, you know, pull back. After putting in their uh, first name and last name um, and email, they're going to go ahead and click this send verification code, and we're going to email them a four-digit code that they can grab and go ahead and put in here. Uh, my code is 2901, so I'll go ahead and put that in and verify my email, and you will notice that I come up with my avatar here, and your players uh, will be able to get the same thing, and all their uh, games will be recorded as long as they keep using the same email, which you're going to want them to do. Um, when they come to a tournament, they can always click this check-in button, and that's a QR code that you can use to scan them in. A good thing to tell your players is that if they click on the top right and upgrade to SPR+, Plus, they do get one month free, but that does remove all the ads that we have on the app, uh, which can be kind of pesky during tournaments. Uh, also, that's how they get all these stats here, um, and they can do things like uh, the practice tab and, and practice while they're not at a tournament. Um, so let's get back to you, the organizer, and what you guys are doing here uh, with the tournament. So if I go back to this Run a Tournament tab and I look at my ACO tutorial here, I'm going to click on the Edit button to kind of show you guys what we have. I have the uh, name of the tournament, and I'll do it on the on the um, desktop too. Uh, but I got the name of the tournament, I got the date and time, location, test and live. So test means that you're not going to send out alerts throughout the tournament because if you scan them in or they pre-register, they'll get alerts. So if you put it on test, they won't get alerts. I'm running a test right now, so I don't want them to get alerts. I'm putting it to there. Um, it also makes it so that it doesn't track the games on their player profile. Uh, private and public. So if you're running a private event, you can mark it as private, and that way it doesn't show up on our Find a Tournament tab. Uh, public means that everybody would be able to see it. It's also a good way to advertise because a lot of players go to Scoreholio to find games. A couple things here in options, and just so you know, you can always click on one of these little uh, uh, you know info bars and get all the information. Uh, but player scoring means that players can score from their phone. Now, that is going to take a $4.99 uh, plan. So you can, on your phone, in the app, you can always click on the top right and click Upgrade Plan. If I'm over here on my laptop, I'm going to show you the that we have docs.scoreholio.com. Or you can click the yellow tab at the front of the app. Um, that's going to have the pricing here. And you can actually scroll down and see everything you get with the each level Um uh, as you subscribe and just so you guys know you don't need to pay for scoreholio to get it go to to run a lot of the tournaments you know use tablets things like that you can actually do on the free version you can find all that at docs.scoreholio.com but you click on the top right and then upgrade plan 
Um, and that's how you would be able to upgrade your plan to get all the fun stuff that we have. Now, I am going to do uh, double elimination. You know, we have a bunch of other things in here that you can learn about, but double elimination is what I'm going to do for this tutorial. Um, I'm doing a singles tournament. That means it's singles. If you're doing doubles, it would be set teams. Um, and then I'm going to do it on three courts, and my score limit is 21. You can read more about that behind the info button. Now, if I'm turning on pre-registration and I'm going to want to collect money through the app, I can always make this, you know, $20 uh, a spot. And a spot is either a team or a player. So one player would pay for a team if you were doing doubles. Um, and then I can enable pre-registration and I can limit how many spots I have or what time uh, registration ends. And then if I want to, I can always accept payments, um, make them required and tell who pays the fees, um, which you can learn more about the fees in the docs section. Okay, so advanced is if you want to rename your courts. This is a uh, one, two, three, but if you wanted this to be four, five, six, you could. Um, there's a lot of interesting stuff in the advanced, um, you know, if you don't like players playing on the same court back to back, things like that. Uh, this is going to take a, a an upgraded to get a lot of this stuff. Um, but really the main thing that you got to look at is the uh, season section. So if you're going to be seeding by the season, you want to make sure you pick the correct season. Now I have a bunch of them in here because I do a lot of testing. But for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to do a copy of the ACO season 18. So and then if you want to tell people a little bit about what you're doing, you can always add, you know, put in some information inside the description um, so that way they can see that. So if I update this and I update this, and now I'm uh, going back to my tournaments, I'm going to go ahead and head into, oh, one more thing on the phone with that QR code that players had, you can always click this check-in button here and that uh, is gonna ask you to use the camera and you can say, yeah, use it while uh, using the app. And this is where you would scan somebody's QR code, that QR code I showed you earlier that players had, and it automatically puts them into the tournament. Now, if you have people that pre-registered, you can always click this pre-register button and their names will come up here. I have two people for our sample already in there, but um, if I want to, I can also manually add somebody. So if I wanna just type in their name and email, but remember you do need emails for people. So make sure that you're getting those emails. Um, okay, let's head into this tournament. I'm going to do it over here and I'm going to click on my admin over here. I'm going to click on my admin and you're going to see that I'm going to get the same exact thing on the left as the right. I have my pre-registered teams. I have my teams that are in the tournament. So I have 60. What I'm going to do is if I have people that are pre-registered and they already paid, a good thing that you could do is you can click this self check-in button and you can send it to anybody that's paid or everyone and click send notification. That's going to send out anybody that's in pre-registered a an alert and say, are you here? If they are, they click yes. And it's going to move them to the checked in location. Now, if you're not doing prepay, you're probably going to want to check them in and, and collect the money at the same time, right? So you would just collect money from Ben, click on them and check in the team. And now I'm checked in. So you can do that if there's, if there's a long line and you're collecting the money, just keep on going and checking them all in. I'm actually going to go ahead and delete, uh, you know, two people from this. So that way you can see um, how to delete somebody. You just click on their name and then delete them. Remember that this is a team name right here, and this is the person on the team. So you want to click on the team name whenever you're doing something like that. So I got 64 players in this tournament. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this get season rankings. You can also do it from your phone as well. I'll go ahead and do it from the phone. And I'm going to pick the division that I'm in. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, for this one, I'm just going to pick the singles um, overall. But you would pick world doubles, you know, singles, seniors, uh, singles, whichever one that you're, uh, you know, seeding for. And you're going to click uh, get season rankings. So by click getting season rankings, you're going to see it happened on the left. It happened on the right immediately. It's going to go ahead and grab the rank for each player. Now, if I uh, see Ben in here, where's Ben? That's me. So if I go here, it says Ben not ranked yet because that means that I'm not a member and I haven't played in a tournament and I don't have any points. So I can always click on me and it's going to put in 999, but let's say that I'm actually, you know, number two in the world or whatever. You can always overwrite that and put in that they're number two and reseed them as the number two seed for the tournament. So um, now if you look, I'm a number two seed over here as well. Now all you got to do is go ahead and go to bracket setup. And so at bracket setup, I'm going to click this green create bracket bracket button. And when I do that, you're going to see that everybody's going to be seated by their standard record, right? But we didn't play around Robin, so there's no records there. What I want the seating to be 
is Scorholio Seasons. And when I do that, you'll notice it's going to pull up the rank of every one of these players. So um, and what I want to do, I'm going to show you guys how to do split brackets, which does take the $9.99 subscription, the advanced subscription. Uh, if you're doing single bracket, you're, you're just really ready to rock. Go ahead and create the bracket. Uh, but over here at split brackets, what you'll see is that it gives me a couple more options. How many courts per bracket? Now I have three. So the, the first tournament it makes, it will be one, two, and three. The second tournament would be four, five, and six. So it will go ahead and uh, number your courts sequentially when you do uh, split brackets. Uh, the number of brackets I'm going to do for this one is two. Uh, split type, uh, there's snake and serpentine. So snake and serpentine is kind of like your football draft where Ben will be in one uh, bracket, then Austin and Brock will be in another, then Dez and Ashley will go to Ben's, and so on and so forth. You can actually preview the split here. So you can see the number one seed, two, three, then four, five, and then six, seven, so on and so forth. That's a snake serpentine split. That's probably what you're going to use most. A sequential split um, would do the top half. So the top 32 would go to one bracket. The bottom half, the bottom 32 would go to another bracket. I'm going to go ahead and do the snake and serpentine split for this tutorial. Now, um, if you want to do best of three, you can always do, click on this button. If you have pro, this is for pro only accounts. And you can do uh, best of three in the first round or all the matches uh, for the upper or lower bracket. I'm just going to do single games for this tutorial, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, create these brackets. Now, if I go back here on the phone while that thing's uh, refreshing, you're going to see I have my ACO tutorial here. And if I refresh, now I have A to ACO tutorial and B uh, ACO tutorial. So now if I also go on my laptop and refresh here, um, which all the way, by the way, you can always filter by a lot of stuff up here too. Um, but if I have the uh, A and B, I can always go into these now and I now have my, and I'll go into B so you can see the court renumbering and, and go into admin. Now I have two brackets based off of the top 64 serpentined into brackets of 32. Now, if I have, uh, if I have uh, tablets out there, you know, they will all flip over. Um, you can always use remote mode if you have the 999 package and control all of your tablets right from any admin, which is really cool. Um, if you are using um, uh, player scoring, then the players that are on the courts can click on their phone and score from their phone. The players don't have to pay to be able to do that, but they can go ahead and do that. If you want to score from admin, you can always just click here. And let's say that the score is, you know, 21 to uh, 3. And we can submit that score and it will move on. And then it will uh, the system will automatically move them. Um, if the bracket control is another way you can do it. And you can also see everybody. If this team is running late, you can always pause them and move them back to the, uh, to the queue. Uh, um, but we're going to go ahead and keep on scoring this match, uh, these games, and, and go all the way to the end. Okay, so now what I did is I'm going to just keep on scoring all the way down and the system's going to keep moving them to where they want to go. You can go ahead and if this, you need to make this bigger on your screen, you can click that there. Um, you can always do that from your phone as well. Um, and then we also have uh, the dashboard that will go ahead and rotate for yours and you can get a, um, a Fire Stick or a, uh, a Google TV uh, to be able to have your um, your dashboard turning for you. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and score the rest of this match and then come right back uh, this this tournament, and then I'm going to come right back and I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and submit this back to Seasons. All right, so I'm back here. I actually uh, just went ahead and made a quick singles uh, tournament with the same players with 12, uh, 12 players in it. Um, you can see on the left-hand side, uh, it is done. And then on the right-hand side, it is uh, also done. Um, never put 21 to nothing like I did. You always want to put the correct score for everybody. It just looks cleaner and it's better for people's profiles. Uh, but for this sample, I did do that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on the top left here. That's how you can get to your menu uh, on a phone. And I'm going to go ahead and go to score Holio Seasons here, which is the same as clicking Seasons over here. Now, if I pick this season, I'm going to do my um, sample of my copy of uh, ACO 2018. That's the season that I'm doing everything for. And I'm going to go ahead and pick my um, world singles. And I'm going to say that this was a uh, world singles regional tournament. And I'm going to pick the format as a bracket. And I'm going to, what you'll see is it's going to pull everybody up. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Uh, this is my AC copy of ACO 2013. It is my World Singles Regional here, and I have that right there. 
and I'm going to pick my format as my bracket, and it's going to pull up all 12 players. Now, you'll notice it's automatically going to go ahead and fill your uh, points here on the right based off of how they did in the tournament. Now, if they don't have email, you're going to have to fix the emails, and it's very, very important to have the correct emails uh, at the tournament. That's why you want everybody to pre-register and to scan in uh, via the email from their profile every time. So now that I'm done, everything's ready. It's real simple. I just go ahead and click this submit results and submit the results to the season. And from there, the, whoever's managing your season is going to go ahead and be able to um, so approve your uh, tournament and add those points to the player's profile. Now, if something went wrong, you'll notice that there's no way to pull this back. You will have to contact the uh, organizer um, for the season and have them delete that tournament so that way it pulls it back and you can go ahead and fix anything that needed fixed. Uh, but that's it. That's how you go ahead and run a tournament on Scoreholio. Uh, go ahead and split brackets if you need to. Uh, figure out if you need to pay more or, pay, or play for free. Um, and, and then go ahead and submit those results to a season. Um, it's really, really easy. Once you do it one time, you're going to be a pro. Uh, this has been with Scoreholio. It's easy peasy.